Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious spicy corn salsa. This is super easy, it's super fresh, and it is probably the easiest lunch I take because there's no microwave required. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, first up we are gonna cook off some corn. Um, you probably should cook it. Uh, I would rather, you know, char it and blacken it a little bit, but um, using it raw, it's just going to have kind of a more starchy flavor, so it's better if you cook it before you add it to your salad. Alright, we're going to go ahead and turn our heat off and stir our corn. It has a little bit of char to it now, and we're going to stick it in our cold pan here just to start letting it cool down so we can begin chopping and adding our other ingredients for our salsa. While our corn cools, I went ahead and threw some water into our pan just to deglaze all of the burnt stuff on the bottom. You can see the water is helping it just kind of rub off the bottom of the pan here. If you leave it too long, it gets way harder to clean. So while your pan is scalding hot, you can just add a splash of water and it will loosen up all that burnt on goodness. And here's our nice clean pan. I just took a scouring pad and scrubbed off what the water hadn't gotten off. And now this pan is good to go. I don't have to worry about it and I won't let it sit and get, you know, cemented on there like it can. So, Okay, while our corn cools, we're gonna go ahead and continue chopping up the rest of our salsa ingredients. So I have two red onions here. So I'm just gonna kind of Roughly chop these. And throw them in with our corn. Up next I have some sweet peppers that definitely need to get used up. They're starting to get a little soft. Now I've got some jalapeno peppers. Up next I have some cherry tomatoes that we're going to quarter. Up next is a bunch of cilantro. Then the juice of two limes, and I like to roll my limes and push them just to kind of get them softened so that they juice a little bit better. Up next, we've got some garlic. And then we're gonna finish off with some salt and black pepper. Doesn't this just look so pretty? It makes me ready for summer. So now we're just gonna get it all mixed together. And it's actually gonna be better the second day because the flavors and the lime juice all kind of 
marinade with each other overnight, making it way tastier the next day. So you could eat this fresh, but my favorite way is a day or two after I make it. And I'll probably just honestly eat this like a salsa. So I'll just take some tortilla chips with me to work and have a nice fresh summery looking salsa for lunch. And I don't have to worry about the microwave, nothing like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and head over to my channel to subscribe for more content like this. And I hope to see you guys again very soon. Thanks guys. Bye.